today we're going to be opening a box of 1999 to 2000 Fleer Mystique NBA basketball cards. Um, I don't have many of these cards. I actually only have cards from one set. Uh, but I happen to think it's one of the most underappreciated sets, at least 90s sets, um, out there right now. And they're relatively cheap. Um, they've got a really great, awesome pattern. Really reflective. Very thick cards, high quality, almost like a um, like a mother of pearl or sort of effect. Very rainbowy. Um, also numbered to nine hundred ninety-nine. The reason these are so underappreciated and so cheap is because the set doesn't really have any major stars in it. Um, it's pretty much we've got Trace McGrady back there, who's obviously. I think he's one of the better players in the set, but it's mostly players of Antoine Walker and, you know, Antoine Jamison caliber. Go ahead and take this off real quick. Someone already started it, so I'll just continue that there. Ten stars, number two, 2,500. So there's masterpiece parallels, gold parallels, one four packs, and then you got the five limited edition insert sets. Point perfect, number 10, 1999. Ten slamboree, which was what I was showing you there, number two, 999. Ten raise the roof, number two, 100. Those are the ones you really should be looking for. Um, that's pretty much the best thing you can hope to hit in one of these. Uh, and then you've got Fresh Ink Autograph Cards, um, which is a cross-product insert. Um, same thing with Field of Game, Player Worn, Memorabilia Cards. So, yeah, let's dive into it. definitely embody the kind of gaudy 90s design so they're very satisfying in that respect now there are different colors so the golds this foil here will be gold if we when we hit those these are all just base cards <clears throat> And if we do hit any numbered cards, they'll be covered by uh, a foil peel that you peel off to reveal them. These cards are not at all stuck together, which is nice. I bought these along with a bunch of boxes of the uh, Skybox EX from 1999 uh, from a guy in California, so 
Hopefully they were kept under pretty good conditions. Seems like they were. Checklist. I don't think we've hit a single insert yet. See everything? One. Will he be numbered? Nope. Back to back Daryl Armstrongs. Nothing. Still dry. Yeah, these are rough boxes. They're not for the faint of heart. Looks like we've got a covered card. Something's numbered. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set aside the numbered cards. I'll do them at the end. Hopefully these will be an insert and not just a, one of the 10 star cards from the base set. There we go, now we're hitting some numbered cards. Still no golds, looks like. No. See Kobe.
Oop. Looks like we got a Richard Hamilton autograph. Fresh ink. Not very fresh anymore. Nearly 20 years old. Let's see, what was the odds on that? 1 in 40, so 1 in every 2 boxes. So that's not bad. And they're probably worse players, I suppose. this checklist if it'll tell us who the stars so I thought the stars were numbered 10 stars numbered to 2500 so I guess there's two Kobe Bryant cards because we have an unnumbered one let's see what number is it <clears throat> okay so yeah, card number 61 is unnumbered Kobe Bryant, and then, got it, that makes sense. Okay, last two packs. More numbered goodness. Okay, now on to the numbered cards. Let's see how many do we have here? One, two, three, four, six, seven. I don't know which sides are the front and which are the back. Just go with whatever's loose. Derek Anderson. How would that be numbered? Oh, because he's a rookie. No. Because it's a gold parallel. I see. Gold parallels are also covered. That's why we didn't see any. <clears throat> in here. Oh, and that is really, really miscut. Look at that. You can see the start of the next logo there. The M and the M. A little off. I'll leave that on. Okay. So far, no good. No. Chris Weber gold. So far, zero numbered cards. I 
feeling we've got another gold here. Finally, something with the serial number. Jonathan Bender rookie. It's almost his jersey number if you ignore, ignore the five. Which I can only assume increases the value greatly. All right, two more covered cards. Another rookie. William Avery. And our last covered card. Antoine Jameson Gold. All right, like I said, not for the faint of heart. That's the box.